Okay, docking test. Let's see if this thing will work. I need to have a target already selected, and then we will see if I can get docking in Kerbal Space Program KOS to actually function for the first time. Okay, so there's the program starting up. That's the point it's going to try to aim at. There's its relative velocity with the craft right now. And the first thing it did is get itself rotated to match the rotation of the target vessel. And then it tries to correct the translation to go to where the point is. I gave it a parameter saying I'd like it to go no faster than 6 meters per second. So once it hits that speed, it stops trying to accelerate. I also told it that I would like it to uh, never go any s uh, slower than 0.4. So when it actually gets to the point where it starts the docking, you'll see it slow down tremendously, but not below 0.4. Now once it reaches that aiming point, then it will change the aiming point to actually l try to go toward the craft. I selected an aiming point that was, uh, I think, 15 meters away from center of mass, because you can't actually get the size of the craft, you have to kind of hard code how far away you want to be from the center when you hit your first aiming point, and then from there the script will try to uh, zoom in. So as you see, as I get closer and closer to it, I slow down more and more and now I'm at point 0.4, which is the speed I decided I wanted to try and do all the stuff at. Once it gets to the aiming point, then it, there we go, changes the aiming point and decides it wants to try to dock. And if I did everything correctly, it should line itself up nice and gently. And there we go. So it is now possible to do docking with uh, KOS. Now, the thing is, I find it kind of interesting that when you dock, the terminal actually disappears. I'm, I'm not quite sure what that was. I'm not sure if that's related to the fact that there's this weird little bug I had. But if you look at the actual code, now this is a version that's stripped out and doesn't have any of my comments in it, but just to give you an idea, this is not actually all that easy yet. We'd like to try to help a little bit more and make some commentary that makes this work better. But at the moment, um, to make this work, what I had to do, the uh, relevant bits here that you care about, is that, if we scroll down here, there we go. Target facing is the direction the target is pointing, and if you take its vector, you get a unit vector pointing along the direction the target is facing. And I stick that in something called doc port vec, and then I use that throughout the entire rest of the script. So everywhere where I'm trying to do something related to trying to figure out which way the craft is oriented, doc port vec is a vector that I can use to do that. For example, my original aligning position I was trying to aim at is uh, a distance that I set in the script uh, parameters. I told it I wanted it to f 15 meters away times the unit vector in that direction, plus the starting position of where the target center of mass is, and this gives me a location in space where I was first aiming at when you saw that arrow. And then this is a little bit of a, a wonky trick I do where partway through, once I actually hit the final approach, then I switched where I was aiming at. But other places in here, I'm not going to go over the entire script, but other places in here that matter are the relative velocity between me and the ship is quite easy to calculate. It's the ship's velocity minus the target's velocity. Uh, these are some of those vec draws to show you the stuff on the screen. But this is the relevant bit. Right here is the bit I was going to go into detail about, so you can see how this works. If I take my own ship's facing, and I set that equal to a thing called four rotation, then I take that four rotation and get a vector of it that is normalized, incidentally, you won't have to put the normalized keyword here anymore um, when the next version comes out. Uh, when, this, when I was writing this originally, the vectors weren't necessarily always unit vectors, but, but now they, they will be. But at any rate, uh, the unit vector in the forward direction of my craft. And then I do the same thing. I get the ship's facing rotated by pitch negative 90, and I call that the top rotation, and then I get the top rotations vector, and that's my top unit vector. And I do the same thing for the starboard rotation. 
and I get the starboard unit vector. Now when I've done all of this, four unit, top unit, and star unit are three different unit vectors pointing f uh, toward four, top, and starboard of my craft. And so those can create a orthogonal coordinate system coordinated relative to my craft. And the way that I make use of that, if I would like to see some information in terms of the craft, which is of course what everyone's been clamoring for, is, let's see, where's the bit? Uh, oh, my indentation has been stripped out of this too. Uh, okay, here's an example, right here where the cursor is. I want to know the distant, the, the direction toward the aiming position, but I'd like that direction in a coordinate system relative to my own craft's orientation, so I know how to do the translations. So the way you can do that is take the top unit, start board unit, and four, four unit, those three orthogonal basis vectors I was just talking about, and simply take a dot product of them times the vector I'm interested in, and I will get the coordinates of that vector in my homemade uh, reference system. So top aim, star aim, and four aim are three different components of a vector that isn't in world coordinates, it's in my own ship's coordinates. So this kind of trick is what I used to actually get this thing to work. So anyone who wants to try to do this sort of thing, that's the quick little tutorial on how you would do it. I'm not going to spoil things by showing the entire bit of code, but, but that's the thing people have been clamoring for, and there is now a way to do this using the new vector type. Um, I would like to make it even better later, but for right now, you can get this much to work. So, there we go. Thanks. And that is the end of that.